Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my announcement video for Alphabathon. So Michelle posted the blog announcement uh, a few minutes ago and now I am recording the uh, video announcement for it basically. So yes, Alphabathon is going to be taking place July 31st through uh, August 6th which is basically the first week in August with July 31st mixed in. Um, and of course, we're all hosting it again. Michelle, me, Christy, Addie, Riley, and Jordan. Um, so yeah, that's basically the hosts as far as we know. Uh, I'm unsure if anyone else is going to be joining us, but as of right now, that is the current host. This round is read books that start with C, the author's first name starts with C, or the author's last name starts with C. So I have seven physical books here, so a week worth of books. And I also have my Kindle in front of me for a couple extra books, depending on if I decide to read ebooks during this or not. So I'm going to go with the ebooks first and try to show you them, and then I will do the physical books. Let's get to it. So the first one I am hoping to read is Caraval by Stephanie Garber. I just have to reborrow it from my library. Don't know why it's still on there, but it is. Um, another book I am planning to read, if I can find it on here. It takes forever to find books on here, in all honesty. It really does. Let me just do it this way. I think I have it at... Uh, most recent. Let me go to author. There we go. Now I can just go down to it. Uh, the other books that I am going to read for this are Snow White Sorrow by Cameron Jace, Cinderella Dressed in Ashes by Cameron Jace, and Blood Milk and Chocolate by Cameron Jace, which will semi catch me up in a series that I am currently reading. Um, yes, but the one thing I forgot. There is going to be a giveaway, so post your TBR on Twitter and Instagram uh, in order to win a, I think it's $25 gift card. Uh, pretty sure. Pretty sure it's a $25 one. But, there are going to be seven challenges in this round, too. Um, I'm not actually participated in any of them I don't think as far as I know but I definitely suggest that actually I am with the page counts of books but the seven challenges are read a book with three C's which means that the title first author initial and you know all that so author's first name last name and the book all start with C easy not really. I literally could not find a book because the only ones I could think of were The City of Books by Cassandra Clare, and I've read all of them, so it was a little tough. Um, read a book with a C setting, a.k.a. the town, city, or state, etc. begins with C. I don't know where any of these take place, so that's kind of hard for me to do. All I know where two of them take place, but I don't know. Um... Read a book that has a picture of something on the front or back cover that begins with C. I haven't looked at these, but I don't think any of them really do. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, read your book in a spot other than the couch that begins with C for a total of an hour. Uh, an example would be car, closet, or at a counter. I might be able to do this one just sit standing at my kitchen counter, but then I'm going to be in the way of my dad and he'll kill me. Right? He's ignoring me. <laughs> he wants to get back to the movie we're watching. Um, and then, of course, read a book with a page count of over 400 pages and read a book with a page count of under 200. That should be kind of easy for me. I don't know, but yeah. So, my physical box. Yeah. I am going to read in no particular order. Etiquette and Espionage by Gail Carriger, which is the first book in the Finishing School series. Uh, I picked that up on Book Outlet a while ago and I haven't read it. I'm also going to read Hate Man's Curse by Frank Peretti. I guess I could kind of count this as the C title because this is supposed to be like 
the symbolism of the curse itself, so I might count that as the one challenge. Uh, I'm also going to read Carnival of Souls by Marissa. Melissa Marr. I don't know why I said Marissa. It's Melissa. Um, and so I think these are the ones that are going to be my over. Yeah, these are definitely my over. But I'm going to read A Court of Mist and Fury as well as A Court of Winds and Ruin by Sarah G. Moss. Which totally count! They totally count. <laughs> and, uh, the other two are The Adventure's Secret and The Conjurer's Riddle by Andrea Kramer. I wish her first name started with a C because it would totally work, but she doesn't. So I'm like two-thirds of the way there. But that's about the best I could do with the books I have. But yeah, uh, hopefully you guys are going to join us for Alphabethon. Let me know down below if you are. Um, like I said, be sure to post your TBR on Twitter or Instagram with the hashtag Alphabethon uh, to be entered in the giveaway for the gift card. And yes, hopefully you guys all enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like and be sure to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye everyone.